Well, I am dying to figure out, or at least somewhat troubleshoot, what in the heck is going on with the 700 in this Pro X2. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kind of play around with this. First things first though, I'm gonna pull the head back off, put a little bit of oil down the cylinder, just to see what happens. You never know, but uh, why not? A little bit of oil never hurt nothing. Just makes a little mess when you tear it down. You know, now that I'm looking at it, I just noticed the oil line's missing to this crank here, sitting down there. Someone already pulled the carb boot off this side, just kind of hand tightened the uh, bolts back in. I don't know why they would have taken that off, but uh, starting to wonder if that came off somehow. Oh, who knows? Anyways, I got these things soaked in Amsoil. Maybe a little excessive on this one, but I'm hoping some of it will leak past the rings and uh, seep down, but I don't think this is going to get her. But, shit, you never know. Guess we'll find out. Well, I just can't make this shit up. Did you look at that? What the fuck? I guess we'll see what happens. Hell, I might just bolt the head back on and see if this piece of shit starts. All right, guys, I got the head thrown back on. I did not replace the hoses, or sorry, <laughs> the O-rings, or head gaskets, whatever you want to call it. Um, I just threw the oil lines back on, tightened up the bolts for the carb boot. The air box isn't seated right, it's just kind of chilling there, but we're gonna see what happens. So I totally failed to remember that the recoil rope was sucked into the recoil. So uh, I took the strap from ratchet strap, wrapped around my clutch, and uh, this ain't gonna work, but we're gonna give it hell. One little pull at a time. All right, we got my buddy Lloyd over here. We're trying to figure out a no spark issue. I was like, what the heck? That's where I plugged everything in. Well, the throttle cable wasn't hooked up. So you got your safety switches up here. I thought the throttle was stuck, meaning no spark. I also noticed my oil pump. It's just kind of chilling down there. It's not bolted up or nothing. So <laughs> fuck it. We're still gonna try to start this thing just to see if it'll run. If it starts, and sounds half decent i'll shut her down and uh yeah we'll fix the recoil i guess fuck it and i guess i could throw a little bit of pre-mix in it and the motor is coated in oil so it should be all right yeah back to the strap <laughs> method I'm just doing like one loop we'll get me yeah. short little poles on it longer strap or something no i don't want because my thing is i don't want it to Catch and then just flop around and destroy the house. Fiery snowmobile wreck. But I got like one loop on there. Give her a pull and uh, see what happens. Nothing. Nothing happened. We're going to use a drill and try not to do it myself. Still terrifying. I need a little start. I'm wrapped around. God damn it. Come on. 
All right. Nothing. Whole lot of barking. Nothing. Garbage. Burp. Burp out. I could have fixed the fucking recoil by now. <laughs> yeah, motor out. Recoil fixed. Oil pump action mounted. Motor back in. Ooh. Got to start it at the clutch. That sounds more promising. <sighs> You know you want to run. This is like attempt number fucking 12. Right. I think I done spent all the fuel out of the cylinders. One. I lied, that's not the one. It almost sounds like a track though. Oh, we got a pop. She's a popper. Okay. What's the other scary way? Catch on fire. Hey, why are you psyching me out, fucker? <laughs> All right, my whole strap around the clutch idea not working out too well. It's killing my drill. Like, it starts smoking shit trying to turn this thing over with the drill. So I pulled one spark plug out, and we're going to try to make this thing run on one cylinder using the drill. Theoretically, it should be all spent back during it, so. Yes. Let's get it go. up on one I can't get it to do it on two so see we know it runs on the mag cylinder yes let's try the PTO see if it'll run on the PTO side <laughs> that drill is not happy. Jeez. Alright. We'll go get the big one from my house. I might have to. <laughs> I had a quarter drill once upon a time, I think. I thought I gave you one or something. You got one. Half inch drive a car. Oh, yeah. Got drill, bro. That's an impact. Back to the strap. We know it does start at least on the max cylinder. Oh my god. I 
kill switch off. <laughs> Started off the drill on the PTO. I had the fucking kill switch on. <laughs> Alright, guys, my retard is showing. have it. Pro X2 does run. It runs like shit regardless, but it does run. Um, I just needed to see that it ran and uh, it'd be really nice to do a compression test on it. However, my gauge is at my friend's house and there's no recoil rope. It'd be kind of hard to do a compression test doing a strap around the clutch. But uh, that gives me a little bit of faith. It didn't it wasn't knocking, it wasn't rattling. So I think the bottom end is actually good in this. Uh, all I did to get it to spin was put a little two-stroke oil down the cylinders. So, um, yeah, the oil pump is completely, ooh, that pipe's hot, completely unbolted, just flopping around here. So, not sure what's up with that, along with a bunch of the co or oil lines being disconnected. Carbs pulled, uh, bad spark issue, which was this right here. Uh, yeah, fuck, we got it running, boys. I guess we'll see what happens here. Need to pull the carbs, check them out, see if they're all gummed up, put some fresh fuel on it, fix the recoil, and see what happens. I've been looking for a hood. I haven't been able to find one. Not a nice one, at least, so. I was thinking I can fit this up here pretty much back where it needs to be and I think I'm going to put Gorilla Glue on the back side which uh, if you never use Gorilla Glue it expands and it sets up extremely hard it's extremely strong and uh, we'll just keep this hood I'll throw the hinges back on it and uh, send it I guess uh, not gonna fix this seat. I actually have a 440 shorty seat, so it's actually taller, but it needs a seat cover. I'm sure some of you guys probably remember my failure trying to make my own seat cover. That day I learned I will never work in an upholstery shop because quite frankly, I just suck at it. But yeah. Somebody's here. I'll be back. But yeah, stay tuned. We're gonna keep working away on this thing and see if we can actually make this run decent. Uh, super pump at the bottom end sounds good though. I mean, if it was knocking and rattling, I would have scratched this whole thing and just ripped it out. 
called it a day. Throw something else in there, build something else, anything. But that actually sounded decent. Minus the fact, sort of like poop. So we'll see if we can get that resolved. And uh, I'll be on the next videos, though. Stay tuned.